What if your next big software upgrade wasn't just about looks, speed, or battery life, but about how your phone thinks, adapts, and responds to you personally? That might sound like C fee, but a new leak just confirmed that One UI 8.5 is very real, and it's Samsung's boldest software shift yet. It's no longer just rumors. One UI 8.5 is officially cooking behind the scenes, and it's packed with features Samsung hasn't even announced yet. And get this, it might already be running silently on select test devices without anyone noticing. Welcome back, viewers, James here. If you love discovering what tech companies are quietly working on before they tell the world, hit that like button, share this with your fellow tech nerds, and don't forget to subscribe so you stay ahead of the game. Now let's dive in, because what's happening under Samsung's hood right now is more than just a routine update. It's a sneak peek at the future of Galaxy One UI 8.5, wasn't supposed to leak this early, but then deep inside a pre-release software build for the Galaxy S26 Ultra, someone uncovered a direct reference to it. That's not just a minor discovery. It confirms that Samsung is prepping a refined version of One UI 8 just in time for its next flagship launch. And here's what makes it special. Instead of being based on a brand new Android version, One UI 8.5 still runs on Android 16, just like One UI 8 Pindo, but it's not a small bump. It's shaping up to be the real meat of Samsung's 2026 vision. Think about it, One UI 8 Pindo felt like a light refresh, new animations, some tweaks here and there, better AI tools. But 8.5, it's about modular upgrades, deep personalization, and software that evolves based on your phone model. If you've got a top-tier Galaxy Ultra, you might unlock features that simply never appear on your older or mid-range device. But the best part, you won't need to root, sideload, or hack anything. It'll all be native, dynamic, and smooth. And here's a wild twist. Samsung isn't just testing this on their flagship devices. The Galaxy S23, a phone many dismissed as a budget filler, is now showing up in internal tests running One UI 8 based on Android 16. This is Samsung playing chess, not checkers. Why test on the S23 FE? because it's the perfect benchmark. It runs both Snapdragon and Exynos chips. It's affordable enough to represent the mass market, and it's just powerful enough to run newer AI models. If One UI 8.5 works well there, Samsung knows it'll scale beautifully to the rest of the Galaxy lineup, but it doesn't stop at phones. Samsung's quietly expanding its One UI testing circle to watches, tablets, and even accessories. And that's no accident. One UI 8.5 is rumored to include cross device sync enhancements that go way beyond what we've seen before. Picture this, you start editing a note on your phone, continue it seamlessly on your Galaxy Tab, and wrap it up from your watch, all with the same context and live updates sensing across devices. It's Apple-level continuity, but for Android users. Now let's talk visuals. Samsung's engineers are cooking up smoother, lighter, more energy-efficient animations. We're talking about frame-optimized transitions that feel natural, not just fast. According to insiders testing the S26 Ultra's early builds, the UI feels more alive, responding in micro-movements, subtle transitions, and even adaptive brightness curves that change based on what kind of content you're consuming. Watching a movie. The colors shift richer. Reading late at night. The screen tones get warmer without waiting for night mode. It's little things like this that separate a good update from a great one. But here's the cliffhanger some features in One UI 8.5 might only be visible to you if your phone qualifies. That's right, Samsung is working on a dynamic feature deployment system. It's like each phone gets a personalized version of the update based on its hardware capabilities. If your phone has advanced AI cores, certain smart features just activate. No extra downloads, no special versions. It's like the software is aware of what your phone can handle and adapts on the fly. And remember Goodlock, the customization app that lets power users tweak nearly every detail. Samsung is reportedly looking to integrate parts of it directly to One UI 8.5. That means you won't need a separate download. Theme customization, icon packs, animation styles, even button behavior could soon be baked into the native experience. And here's the best part Samsung might finally introduce a way to send leave feedback directly from the UI itself. See a bug long press send feedback. Love a new animation. Mark it as a favorite. This could be Samsung's most interactive software experience yet. Let's talk timing. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to debut around February 2026 with One UI 8.5 out of the box. But that doesn't mean you'll have to wait until then to try it. With the S23 FE and possibly this 24 series already showing signs of Android 16 and early tests, we're likely just weeks away from a beta rollout. Samsung might even surprise drop it for Galaxy users by August, especially if testing continues to go smoothly. And don't overlook the silent removals. According to a few internal testers, a controversial AI-generated wallpaper feature that appeared in earlier betas is now missing. No explanation, no patch notes, just gone. Is it being scrapped? or held back for a paywalled Galaxy AI service. Only time will tell, but one thing's clear, not every feature Samsung builds is guaranteed to make it to your phone. Now zoom out for a second. What we're seeing here is a shift in Samsung's entire rollout philosophy. 
No more simple flagship to midrange trickle. This is modular strategic AI driven deployment where any device from a smartwatch to a budget phone could be the test bed for a critical new feature. It's smarter, it's faster, and it's coming whether you're ready or not. And if you think this update is big, just wait till you see what Samsung is planning next with its Galaxy AI platform. Coming up in the next segment, we break down the One UI 85 exclusive AI features that won't come to older phones and why Samsung might be splitting Galaxy AI into two tiers. Stick around, you're not going to want to miss what's coming next.